Let's continue on. We can head up here and now we're on the seventh floor. I need to make it to the eighth. It's a tower. What do you expect? This is a very interesting tower that we have here, though. More new enemies or are we really done here? No, we do have new enemies. This is a level tripper. Now this guy can be quite annoying. I think that there are some blue magics that we can get here. I'm not sure what my levels are, and that's kind of important for this. Uh, I do have Bart on the uh, on the Dancing Dirk now, which is why he is in the front row, uh, because, well, Raina can't use it anymore. And I want somebody using the Dancing Dirk, and I didn't realize you were going to freaking tempt Dango it. That is not cool, Bart. How dare you dance? I still use Aim, though, to be honest with you, just in case he should want to miss. Just, just to prevent that. Oh, nice counter in house. I was about to say, why'd you attack that one? Uh, yes, of course. Damn it! Stop trying to confuse the ones that I am hitting, Bart. This is not the time for the temp dango. You can dance your hooker dance some other time. Why do I keep missing? This is why you aim. That is why you aim, kids. And as you might have noticed, Reina does have over a thousand HP at max health if I could get her back up there, which is not always easy. I'm going to keep on hitting her. There we go. Back up over a thousand. Very nice. I always like reaching those little you know, marks in the game when you're like, yes, I've reached a new milestone. There we go. Down goes the level tripper. There's no way he is surviving the sword dance. Yes, you get 972 gil, 532 experience, two ability points. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, we did not learn any of the blue magics. I believe that it actually has to work in order to, to, to use it. Like, in order to learn it, actually. Galif, do, do you read? Over. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. This is grass. The whisper grass. It's Ziza. Do you do you read? Over. We hear you through the grass. Have I emphasized this emphasized this point enough? It's grass. I'm in the power room. Over. Uh oh. Everything's all right on this end. Oh, over. A. Hey, why are you guys using? Oh, dodged lightning. <laughs> Gallif, what is it? Nothing. You just worry about getting to the top. Over. Gotcha. Over. So let's head inside and hopefully we can make it to the top. Eighth floor, pretty basic here. It's starting to get a little repetitive. Now we're on the ninth floor. Uh-oh. Double staircase. I choose left. Left leads to monsters. This is not going to be good, is it? Probably not. We're up against another red dragon. I'll keep this one in uh, pretty much because it is a tough-ass fight. There's no other way to put it. Yeah, you're not going to confuse it. You're just not going to do it. Um, I should have used... What am I doing? I should have used my ice magic. Why am I healing when I didn't need to? Galif is important in this fight. He is not just for healing. He's not just my heal monkey in this fight. In other fights he might be, but not this fight. Nice! Jitterbug! No! Jitterbug bad! Don't do the Jitterbug against the Red Dragon. As you saw, it damaged Bart and healed the Red Dragon. That is not cool. Now he actually. Now see, now I actually need to heal Bart because of your damn mistake. That is not cool. Now let's go for another Ice. I do believe that there is a save point coming up, so I don't need to be too conservative about my. Um, my MP usage. You're being useless today, Bart. Why did I even give you that thing? It's not working out for you at all. Ah, oh, so much damage if I can get a critical. Uh, so I don't need to be very conservative about my MP usage. I am overly conservative with it, and I fully realize that I should be using more magic than I do. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you came through for me, Bart. Come on, Aqua Rake. Work for me, baby. 
It, should, it would have been better to use ice, but down it goes nonetheless. 500 kills, 750 experience, 6 ability points, I think you remember. But Bart has gained a level, Galif gains a level, Ferris gains a level, Reyna is still a little bit behind, but that is okay. We'll, we'll get to the point where, you know, usually they all get the... The, the level up. Nice. Hair ornament out of that chest. That is another accessory. I do believe that it is... Can you wear it? No. Can only women wear that? No. Doesn't look like I have anybody. Unless I'm mistaken. Usually... Let's see. What is it? Hair ornament. Because I have obviously forgotten. What is this hair ornament? Where the hell did it go? There it is. Oh, it's a helmet! Oh, use half a MP in battle. Let's see. Any good? Damn it. No, yeah, we're going back there. Okay, hair ornament. Mmm. That's tricky. Okay, so I will probably equip that when it is necessary. Uh, but that lowers defense by quite a bit, so I'll have to move uh, Ferris to the back row if I if I do go for that. That is nice. Hair ornament goes on your head. Makes sense. What doesn't make sense is that there is a new enemy called an Ultra Gigas. That is not cool. There we go. There's a heal. That is what I wanted to see. Why is there a new enemy right here? That is not cool. Did not expect it. The first one that I cut out going, nah, there's not going to be new enemies. There's a freaking new enemy. Of course there is. First time. 9-11. Oh no, the horror. Sorry, that was terrible. Time Tango! There we go. Damn it, now I have to hit. I should have stolen, actually. I probably could have gotten away with that. Now, we need to... Yeah, let's just heal everybody. Like I said, I don't need to be conservative with my MP. I'm pretty sure there is a save point coming up. I got a ton of cottages. We might as well use everything as best as I can. Sword dance, that should be enough for the victory. And down goes the Ultra Gigas. That guy scared me for a second, but he was not too difficult at all. You do get two ability points for him, though. That is nice. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, the levels that, well, Rana just got. Uh, we will get to the point where there will typically be enough experience in one battle that it, would, it won't matter. And we'll all get to level up at the same time. You're not going to do this to me again, are you? Not really. Let's continue up here, and up here we are on the 10th floor, which, knowing my Final Fantasy, is the highest floor, but we have also found a save point, the one that I had foretold. Let me use it. Okay, I have healed. I rearranged my party just a bit here. Uh, Galif and Ferris are both now in the front row. Galif is now a time mage. Uh, he has the ability to summon as well. And he has the Halcyon Blade equipped. He is, uh, he's not going to be able to heal anymore. Ferris has the hair ornament on. I'm not sure if that's going to be entirely necessary, but it is the choice that I have made. Let's go ahead and get out of here and continue climbing the tower. We need to make it up to the antenna like Ziza told us to. That is quite an antenna that you got there. Ziza, we're on the top floor, said Galif to the grass. Roger, responded the grass. I probably need to let that go, but seriously, this whole point of the game, this whole... Heart, I guess you could say, is so strange to me. We got this giant engine here. We got the horn. Stand by to blow it now. We got the guy with the freaking horned hair. We got the grass. What the hell is going on? I, I really don't understand, but it is definitely interesting to say the least. And we somehow disabled the antenna. I don't know if we were told or what. Uh oh. You'll never leave here alive. And it is boss time. You knew there had to be a boss here, didn't you? We're up against Adamos. Adamos has decided to kill Ferris. Alright. Not much I can do about that. Uh, we're just going to have to hope for the best here. Oh, God. Parts is going to make this so incredibly random. Uh, Adamos is a timed fight. Uh, we are pretty much on a timer here. How Adamos works is Adamos will cast Comet on an enemy or on one of your party members and kill them. Th there's no other way to put it. You're not going to survive that many comets in a row. Temptango isn't helping either, Bart. I'm hoping for a sword stance. 
Uh, so we are going to be using our most powerful abilities that I got, which unfortunately is not much. We're going to be going for uh, Titan, we're going to be going for aiming with the Dancing Dirk and hoping that we can get a Swords Dance off, and we're going to be uh, punching with Reyna. Um, like I said, he's going to... Damn it, stop doing the Temp Tango. He's going to kill one of your party members and then slowly suck them in. Uh, when your party member gets sucked in all the way, he will kill another one of your party members, so on and so forth, until you have nobody left. And that makes this fight very difficult because he does have a ton of HP, somewhere around 20,000. Uh, outside of that... His only real attack is what you saw there, which is Demi 2. He also has Demi 1, but, you know, Demi. If you're unfamiliar with Demi in uh, the Final Fantasy universe, basically, it can't kill you. It can only damage you uh, to a flat percentage of your current HP. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much it is for... Um, for Demi 2, for Demi, regular Demi, it's uh, exactly 50%, but for Demi 2 in this game, I think it's 85? Somewhere around there, it's really high in this game for whatever reason. It's higher than 75 like it is in other games. Damn it, stop doing the Temp Tango. Yes! <gasps> Critical hits are always useful. Uh, the, so there is absolutely no point in healing in this fight, uh, which is why Gallif is now pretty much a summoner. I also have him as a time mage, hoping that, well, in case a certain wonder waltz, seriously man, seriously, hoping that in case something else should happen, uh, Atomos does cast uh, slow too, and there goes Ferris into the wormhole, dragged into another dimension, uh, which means that the next attack that, um, that Atomos is going to do is going to be another comet that hopefully only kills one person, and that's that's a real hope that I have. Uh, sometimes comet will kill two people. Okay, it just killed Reyna. That is fine. Reyna is not doing the most damage here. Parts is when he uses freaking uh, when he uses. Jeez, when he uses Swords Dance. I'm not sure Ether is going to do enough here. Yeah, 40 is not going to cut it. 40 is not going to cut it. I'm, I need more... <laughs> I need more MP. Uh, I am not above using Ethers in this fight. This fight deserves it. I can get two more of these off. I'm not sure how much damage we have done overall to Atomos. But like I said, it's around 20,000 HP. That's pretty much what we got. Damn it, Wonder Waltz is not gonna do it! Bart, I need Swords Dance. Swords Dance and Swords Dance alone. <laughs> that is what I am hoping for. Um, I'm really hoping that having the Dancing Dirk on is beneficial in the long term. I don't know if it's going to work out that way, though. I might have to... Uh... No, it does! Down goes Atomos. And we shall never, ever see him again. Well, until, you know, like four games later or something like that. Down he goes. Yes, you get 12 ability points for that fight. No, uh, no experience, no gill, but 12 experience points is definitely appreciated. Yes, I will take the Dark Matter. Uh, that is a, that is an item that you can use in battle that casts Demi 2, I believe. I could just cast Demi 1, but... That is the way that I remember it. Down goes the antenna! And we have done it! Did it! Ziza, can you hear me? We did it! We blew it up! Does the grass still work with the antenna down? Probably does. The grass does not depend on your antenna. Uh-oh. Ziza! No! I'll never make it back. Gallif, it's getting dangerous here. Hurry and escape. The energy is reversing and will explode. No. Ziza. Ziza. He'll make it. We'll ride the dragon out. Come on. Hang on, Ziza. I'm on my way. No. Wait at the sub. I'll meet you there later. No way. You're not dying here. 
Galif, no, it's too dangerous. But, Reyna, you and the others go first. You and the others, meaning Ferris. <laughs> Ferris cannot be named, apparently. You knew all along this was going to happen. You wanted to sacrifice yourself. Wait in the sub. I'll be there, I promise, over and out. <laughs> Ziza! No, Ziza! Yes, I knew, but I couldn't let you all go. Four new warriors will have to beat X-Death with the power of the crystals. Galif and Bartz, Reyna, Ferris, do your best. I'm counting on you. Don't worry. I'll always be with you when you need me. What? No! Caesar! Get out of there! And down goes Ziza. Ziza! We should probably get off the tower. I hate to do this, but... What the hell was that? He, like, butt-rammed him. That, yeah, he's like, oh my god, that ass. And then he passed out. He woke up when we land on the dragon, though. Oh, but let's go to the sub. Galif, I'm sure Ziza will. Our last promise. Please keep it. If he kept it, then it probably wouldn't be your last promise. I hate to blow a hole in your theory there, but... There it is. And suddenly the barrier that we could not see on the world map is now gone. Hooray, we have done it! We can now storm the castle. D dude Come on, Gallif. Nothing could have survived that blast. Just a bit longer. No, seriously. Dude, no nothing could have survived. Alright, let's get into the sub then. And it looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been Bala Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my saddened party of Bart's and a dead Reyna in Paris. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.